What is going on, ladies and gents? It is I, Randy, with RTS Mobile Gaming. I am bringing you a fantastic Sea of Conquest video today. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about the top three damage heroes in Season 2. We're going to be ignoring the trinkets for this video because trinkets can completely change a hero's damage. I will do a totally separate long video talking about all the trinkets and which ones are best and why. This video is focusing on raw hero potential. So, Let's get ready to rock and roll. We'll also touch on the sponsor for this video, Paxify, in a little bit. Get excited, okay? So, the number one top damage hero available in Season 2, hands down, without a doubt, undisputed champion, is going to be Tanaka. Tanaka is an absolute monster. Let's talk about why. First off, Tanaka does incredible damage in up to five ships. He also applies two stacks of burning damage from his base ultimate. As you level him up to four stars, he unlocks an additional stack of uh, to three stars. Sorry, he unlocks an additional stack of burning, which he will apply as he gains stacks of foresight. So eventually, his ultimate will deal bonus damage. Okay, uh, <clears throat> of another additional twenty percent of his attack, which will go up with his with his strengthening, of course, and it will deal an additional stack of burning. So this will put Tanaka up into the 15 to 1600% damage range from every single ultimate. In addition to that, not only does he do three stacks of burning plus 145% damage to up to five ships, okay, the burning is going to do uh, up to 240% damage, okay, which is absolutely incredible to three stacks of burning to up to five ships. He has a chance when he casts his ultimate, and he's four stars to extend the duration of damage over time effects on the enemy ships by two seconds. Two additional seconds of burning will bump you from 240% to 300% burning damage on up to five targets plus 148% damage. He is a cannon. He is going to absolutely dominate the world and he's going to approach the threshold of almost 2,000 damage from every ultimate. Okay? How do you get Tanaka, you ask? Ladies and gentlemen, that is a great question. Let me tell you how. You're going to go over to the Conch Summoning Portal here in Season 2. Tanaka is not available in Season 1. Once you're within the Gold Conch Summoning area, you are going to go ahead and expend your conches to summon Tanaka. Since these are Gold Conches, they cost a little bit more if you go to the cash shop, and they're a little bit harder to get if you get them through in-game events. Uh, however, you should be able to collect enough gold conches to summon him at least one time through free endgame events in Season 2. If you want to summon him more than one time because you want to unlock his 4-star and 5-star, 6-star abilities, this is what you're going to do. You're going to click on the gold conch up here or go to the value shop where you can purchase packs. You are then going to use my video sponsor, Paxify, to save you 35% on your pack purchases and purchase the packs that you need for gold conches. Okay? Paxify has been around for over three years. They have saved players over $4 million in pack discounts. They got a Discord community with over 10,000 players. It's really fantastic. Check out the link in my video description below. Once you have Gold Conchers, you will summon Tanaka. You will get him, and you will have the top damage hero in the absolute game for Season 2. Let's talk about the second top hero in Season 2. Let's move right along. The next hero is absolutely fantastic, and it is a she and she hits like a Mack truck, okay? We are talking about Adeline. Adeline is an absolute stud. She comes in hot and heavy, has this red whip sword thing ready to kill. She does incredible damage with her blood razor ability. This hits up to six times for 156% damage at level 70, 79. She also has the ability to add additional damage that impacts four seconds later to up to five targets. This damage is incredible. This is going to put her ultimate over 200% damage on impact, okay? In addition to 200% damage on impact to six targets, she is going to apply a debuff to the enemy ship where they can incur up to two stacks of taking on water over five seconds. Taking on water does tremendous damage. It actually does higher damage over a shorter time than blazing, okay? Drowning damage stacks do 20% uh, damage every second for five seconds for a total of 100% damage over five seconds, while blazing is 80% over eight seconds. So it's much more damage over a much shorter time. Really, really effective, okay? She is going to apply up to two stacks to all of the targets. <laughs> and if that wasn't enough, she is also 
going to be gaining an incredible amount of rage every time she inflicts or anyone on her ship inflicts taking on water. So this puts Adeline again up close to the 2000 damage range per ultimate. She is an absolute monster, ladies and gentlemen. Now the third highest damage hero here in season two, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be uh, one that you probably picked up in season one, and it is going to be Griffin. Griffin is another absolute stud. You can get him in Season 1, again, through the Gold Conch Summoning Shop, same as Tanaka, same as Adeline, and really, Griffin is a monster. His ultimate does 288% damage at level 70 to 79. He is a killer to up to 5 ships. He also, if the other ships have high HP, if they have more than 60% HP, he does an additional incredible amount of damage. At two red stars, it is another 80% damage. 80 on top of the 288 puts me up to 368% damage on up to five targets. This is insane. It's insane. His other abilities are also crazy as well. He has a chance when his ship launches a basic attack to do another 192% damage every 10 seconds. And he also... Well, we don't care about the armor. But he also, I went up in voice for you, he also, once every 24 seconds, after the ship does 24 strategic damage instances, triggers a free raid skill. It's a free raid skill that also will deal incredible damage. His free raid skill has a chance to also generate 288 plus 80 Okay, and then he has a chance again to trigger this again. So in the first 30 seconds in the battle, you might see up to three ultimates, three procs from Faith and Justice, and he does not stop there. He keeps going, and he murders you in your sleep. So those are the top three damage heroes here in Season 2, folks. They are hands down, without a doubt, the absolute killers. You must have them if you want to dominate the battlefield. If you have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Check out the link to Paxify below. Randy out.